Yes, my people, look at this. Look at this man. I dive off from a different, different spot. It's been a while since I dive from here, so. A few months since I come here, so. But here, so, it's actually near to where we dive all the while, you know. Close to the two locations. One location that way, next location that way. This is just in the middle, you know. Yes, man, we have beautiful sea today. Today is Monday. And we mentioned in a previous video, so Monday we are going to have sea flat right through the day. Until about tomorrow evening again, go back down. It's going to go flat in the morning and rough in the evening again. But today we have whole day today. You know, we did go and try some. Some line fishing on the boat, but however, though, we get the starter fixed, but we have a really a problem too, you know. So, we have to get um, the starting related to car that we get um, kind of burning at the same process of the starter getting burned too. I mean, never know if we didn't know, I would have get tired, but in a week, yeah. Yeah, man, this man and me and Balti, they are ready up himself. Big man come out of the water and go look wilk since say. Yeah, so they head out of water, fish a jump out there. So you can catch. Look at it this morning. It look different this morning. Different, don't it? Look real different man. Yeah man, look for the, the cloud coloration meet with the sea. You know? Crystal, yeah, so and the tide, I too. So, yes, my people, give thanks. And it's wonderful morning again. Go to do some spear fishing. Going across the reef. So, we are going. We are come back right at here, so we are exit too. We are dive here, dive off from here, so we are exit back here. Come on, so, come with us on this one and um, enjoy the video. Share with your families and friends. Yes, and, um, anything to say, leave it in the comment section. You know, do enjoy the video, alright? Yes. So, today, my people, the water was very cold, real cold. It wasn't too bad here, though. The water was okay right here. But as you people could see, the visibility was great right throughout. This was in the shallow, a nice squab I was trying to spear. This squab escaped me, it swim under this rock, but I couldn't see it. Could see this area was crystal clear I saw a few red belly so I dive and spear one This area is not famous for red bellies and gold tail. This area is mainly a jack or barracuda area. But you still can find one and two of them here though. But one thing I love about today, the water. It is so clean. This is in some deeper waters now. You could see it's the same thing. Very clean. Right here I saw a huge gold tail. Head down for it, but it head off for the deep. And the next thing, the gold tails and red bellies here, they are weary. They don't give chance that easily. But when you do see them though, they are very big. In the deep waters, as you dive and pass about 5 to 10 feet, the water get real cold and bearable. This year was a gold teal I was chasing. 
I said they are weary here. It also hid from me. Right here I saw a dog teeth snapper in this rock. Could see it put it head out for a small moment there. But the way it was acting, I knew that it won't be out back anytime soon. And the sea stay like this right throughout the day. You will see when I exit the water that the sea was still flat. A next nice gold teal I spot here, could see it down there. It head in the rock though, no chance from it. This was a red belly, but this one was too small for taking. And why the water affect me so much, my wetsuit, it have a lot of tear on it. So it's constantly letting in new water. Because the way your wetsuit work, whenever you enter the water, the water inside of it warm up. So it keep you warm. But when there are tear, the water keep rotating inside. So your body can't get to warm up that water. So here's a nice spot, I always see good fish here, but nothing on this first dive. You we'll see I make a next dive here but from a different angle but it is the same spot though a gold tail was swimming around I wasn't sure where it was here it is I line it up, squeeze the trigger the spear hit it but I didn't get it though Right here and next nice gold tail. I was mainly seeing them. This one wasn't coming in though. At the same spot I dive again because I really want to try and spear this gold tail. It was a nice one. could see it here but some black fish there are some species of damselfish they kept picking on the gold tail so it weren't staying in place could see I almost get a shot there from it but I didn't want to miss
nice surface and make a next dive the same spot but over by the next rock this time the neighboring rock and the left that's where I was before right here I get in real close to it still not getting the shot I was looking for because this water here have some depth so I don't want to take any foolish shot All of the heming, I still surface without a shot. I didn't bother to dive at that spot again. I move on. Right here I was heading down for a goldfish. And as I said, these waters have some depths. This area is much deeper than the next two diving area. Right here I saw a nice yellow tail snapper. I slowly dive down on it. It swim up under this rock here. Could see it. I was waiting. I saw that it came out on the next side. But what I realize, it seems to me like something bite it. But I still spear it though. This snapper is a real big yellow tail. Could see a piece of line hanging from its rear end. It seems like its solar hook. Could see the line there. And also the bite. So this fish definitely get hooked and broke off the line. I knew that whoever lost this fish didn't take it well. a huge bite maybe a barracuda did it so back on the hunt right here I spot a red belly It was the second one I speared. Nothing much wasn't going on in this dive as mentioned earlier. We weren't seeing a lot of fish. The water was real cold. I even see some fishermen on a boat complaining about the same thing. The cold water. This was in the shallow. This here is a goldfish. 
we were heading back to land, so I was trying to add this goldfish to the string. Spear it, but the spear didn't hit it good and it tore off. Well, my people, we're back on land. Short while, we're not spending a lot of time out there. It's where we're going after 10, right now, call it 1 o'clock. So, 11, 12. Two hours and some minutes there. Eh? After call it. The water, cold, bad man. The coldness on the water is. The first to feel is so cold for this good while. Cool man, look at it, very cool. So we just we don't see not much need here man. Maybe a because of the coldness. So we just come in, you know. Oh man, look up. Where you been? Me shoot um two red belly. Two on the boy see me. Two red belly and a snapper here. Yeah. Huge um like it's about four pound yellow tail snapper. But what with him you know, can't see this. This is piece of line. Look like in take a line. The line bus. And it look like you know, at the same time I fight the line, it look like something bite him, a barracuda or something. Right, this one. Just bite him. He might be hooking at him still. But he's a swimming fish, you know? And when I see him and dive down, he see me and rush up on a rock there. But the rock come like a dead end. So I have to come out back and as he come out and ride for my spear pipe. Huge, you know? good size boy. size yellow tail snapper two of them here eh? water cold me people bad too final look of squid here and I just start come assure themselves back again from December I don't see none over two months now or got three months so they may just start show themselves back Squid, these are the red fish bait for me. I yeah. want to see them here catch them because I want them to make bait too. As I said, this is the only catch today. Not complaining, but you know, so it go. Well, to catch two local fish too. Three fish are catch, yes, sir. Three fish baltic. Oh, yeah. Steam drip and moonshine snapper. That's all baltic fine. The water too cold, man. You see fish at, sun, at some place, but if you dive down for them, you know. Him. Water too cold. You have, you have to really stay on top of the water because as you pass say, 10 feet or 5 feet some place, a straight coldness is going on. Real coldness. So that's the main thing my crappy come into and that's why we don't see no fish because it looks like most of the fish them the water too cold but the coldness is good feet still the cold so I me notice with all of the plant life them them green and the coral them up on the right coloration back again and thing you know so we see kind of replenish itself so the coolness is good feed, you know. Oh yeah, let me get these clean up, you know. Three fish, one squid. Still good cat. Yeah, man, so I'll clean them up. Nice fish, you know. Good size.
See where you lick the copy yourself. You know. Rush him. So, big old bite there. Eh? See you. By looking at this, it come like in a couple of days, you know. Couple of days, it's a hook in a you know. Yeah, I'm me hook. I'm okay, I look like I want to lock you. But, I'm not going to eat this, you know. Meow do, cause the hook didn't have in chipe, so he make he made him come like in chipe with a rat. So what me do, can I move and freeze him when I go to deep sea? I'm gonna slab him up, I'm gonna strip and so use him make bait. So hopefully you guys can yeah, watch a video when me I use him and make bait. I'm gonna keep him for bait. I eat this. The fish are in fit feed. Nice bait him go make though. So, let's squid there. This a bait too. Nice bait. Look at squid. We have two bait and two fish feed. That's my people so. Yeah, I do me now, yeah, man. Please, water nice, but too cold. So, not much of one. I'm going to pack up my head, though. 